Hello once again space engineers. We are um, here on the moon and we're just watching the sun come up. We're going to do some tests with Sam. I've been having a lot of the different people asking questions about Sam. I did a little modification of the software and so a lot of people are asking me for information on how to set up this or do that. And so I thought well let's just put the videos together. Uh, be sure to look for all those. If you subscribe you'll get the uh, uh, they'll show up right for you. And uh, if you um, uh, hit the little bell, then you see when we put new stuff up. Well, I've got, uh, I've got a couple of them there already done, and uh, what we're going to do today, or right now, is show how to dock SAM ships at uncontrolled locations. So this is a place that you don't control, you can't change the antenna, you can't change the connector, you can't set up SAM. So what do you do? Well, one of the best places to test that with is trade stations, which was also a question that I'd gotten was how do we go to dock at trade stations. And we'll want to put together a, a total series on what we call Trade Master. And I want to put that uh, with Sam and show you how to do that and show you how to trade and do all those things. But today we're just going to dock at the station. Uh, that's a pretty simple thing. And so uh, I wanted to show you one other little bonus uh, at the end of this. And it's going to be something that I think you're going to really enjoy. So uh, be sure to stick around to the end of this video for that uh, because it's really going to be a useful piece of information. So we've got everything set up in our SAM. Uh, in another video, you can see how that's all set up. And this ship, we've got a little real simple ship with just, uh, you know, it's ugly, but it's very functional. Got uh, engines all around, both in ion and in hydrogen. For some hydrogen tests, we're going to be running in another video. And uh, but right now we're just going to test this with the ion stuff, and we're going to do it with the uh, uh, the trade station. So let's uh, fly over to the trade station. Fly so you go to the dock that you want to get to, and we've got a trade station real close over here, which is nice. I happen to set up the base within just a few kilometers away, so got to get those dampeners turned on and. Uh, Otherwise, we're going to be crashing here pretty soon. All right, so we're on the way to that trade station. All right, so the trade station's in sight. What we've got to do is, similar to uh, other places like PAM, uh, you've got to go to this location. If you want to ever go to it again, you've got to go and mark it because you don't have the GPS. So what we've got to do is manually fly in here. And uh, that's always a fun challenge for me because I'm not a very great pilot. That's why I love Sam so I can let Sam do the driving. Um, but we'll, we're going to go in here and, uh, and get docked. So I'll, uh, I'll pay attention to what I'm doing here and kind of speed up the video as we go if I need to. As you can see, this uh, trade station is in a pretty rough spot. I mean, it's uh, it's up against those mountains. And I thought this was a really good example of how sometimes you get into these trade stations and any kind of a connector that might have stuff around it. So it's real good that we've got a well-balanced SAM ship and the design is, is uh, able to stop where it's supposed to and turn where it's supposed to. And uh, check out that other video on uh, on setting up SAM, and you'll see some of those design things that you want to be sure to watch for, because that's really, really, really important. And a lot of people are saying, oh, well, SAM crashes or this or that. Well, SAM doesn't crash. Your design crashes. 
that's true very many times and maybe you can fly it maybe you can you can but the software can't for various reasons uh, the software is not able to to control it as well as you are and the software needs a very well designed ship to be able to to uh, do that and I missed the connector that's okay we'll get over there and just back up just a little bit and that's one of the big reasons I leave this bar as it is as you might have noticed the number four kicked in to say proximity and that's exactly what we want to do and so here's our big secret of getting Sam set up you just lock it to that station that you want and then you come in here to the Sam uh, programmable block right here and then you're going to say add whatever it is and I've already got that typed in here add and then the trade station whatever name you want to do now I, I recommend that you don't put spaces here I believe you can put in this case but most of the stuff with Sam you want to make sure that you don't put a space in all the connector names and things like that you want to not put a space in so I'm going to not put a space here and that's what I'm going to call it and then all you do is just type that in the argument and click run and now that'll be on our uh, our list here there it is at the bottom and so now I can run back and forth in my configuration I'll just go in here and uh, try to get on the right screen and go to that one and say go there good and so we'll run from the other base and come back here again that's what we're going to do in our little run and so I'm just going to hit go or start and off we go and that's really all there is to it and now this will run between those two bases and also uh, it will come in at this same orientation so you see it's just a little bit off a of square which is a uh, kind of intended so we can see that it does that when we come back but it will line up in the same way well I'll be a ding dang what is going on here got to turn it off and did I forget to put that other station Yeah, I think I forgot to reprogram after I put in a new connector. I forgot to reprogram that station. So I got to go back in here and let Sam do its thing. Well, it says it's there. Uh huh. No? No, it's supposed to be there. Navigation disabled. Okay, I think what I need to do is reset that programmable block because what I did I changed the connector and certainly that can make a difference and it found it again so that's not a big problem so let's see nope it's not going, not going the right direction
Okay, well this turned into one of those uh, Sam debugging sessions as well, so that's good. This is going to be a longer video and uh, you'll get more information this way. So this is a, a problem. Earlier I crashed it, the ship and I put on this cockpit instead of the industrial cockpit, which I typically use. And I forgot to put a camera on the top. Well, but also what happened was I thought I was in the dark in a, in a big crater and I thought I had put the, uh, the cockpit pointing away from the antenna but I wound up putting it on the side so it's no longer the same front so now we don't have any cameras that are pointing in the right direction because I'd also crashed I told you I'm a horrible pilot I also crashed the connector and when I did, I lost the camera from the bottom. So you've got to have three cameras. That's why the ship here is crashing. It doesn't, it can fly if it can see a direct line of sight, then it's not a problem. But most of the time that's not true. So what we've got to do here, and it's just critically important because if, if it's just like you flying with, with horse blinders on, like they used to talk about, where you, you can only see directly forward. You can't see stuff coming from the side. Well, you don't want to put a camera in a place like this. You've got to put out a little block of some kind, and then you put a front camera. Okay, so now you've got a, a good front camera. And then we need to go one on the bottom, and you think, oh, well, I'll just put the camera right there. It looks at the bottom. No, it doesn't. It's not the same place. What's the the most bottom that you actually have and that's typically your connector sometimes it's landing gear but uh, you can usually get by with just a little bit of something there now I'm going to put that on uh, right here I'm going to put the same thing I'm going to put a block on I'm not going to try to squeeze it in up there you just you just can't you got to put a block in both places I know it's ugly I never said it was you know, going to be pretty to have a drone. Uh, sometimes you just got to do what the drone likes. Now you could put blocks all around here and make it better, uh, you know, better looking with stuff, but that's just the way it is. Now we're going to come up in here to the topmost place, and that's the top of our cockpit. And unfortunately, this is why I don't like this cockpit so much, and I like the other one better is you can put the camera right on top of the industrial cockpit, but you can't put it on this one. So what we've got to do is ugly again and actually not very nice, but we got to cover the back or the side. I mean, you can actually attach to the side, but um, you know what we, what we can do, I bet, is if we get one of these other little blocks, this kind of a block, we can take a half block and put the, I think we can put the camera on top of that. Um, let's do it that way. And take a look. I haven't, I haven't really done that because I just don't work with these particular cockpits. And that might look a little bit better if it'll fit. Yeah, it's going to fit. Great. Uh, so we'll put the camera there. And we, we could have done that with the others. And, and that's a little lesson for me, too, is I'll uh, look at working with half blocks more because uh, it's still ugly. But anyway, and then we've got to go in here and we're going to see these cameras. And we've got to make every one of these cameras just say Sam, Sam period. And then we'll copy that. And you can put them in the name, too. I like to put them here. Just everybody has their own way of doing it. And then, actually, we need to put uh, Sam Test. Whoops. I just put those in while we're while we're here. So everything's named properly. And I bet it's going to fly a whole lot better getting back to that, uh, that base now. So let's do that. 
let it fly. And I came way off out away from the uh, the moon there and, and get to go around the the back end so we make sure that it is flying. So it's going to take a minute to get back over there, but um, it's going to, it's going to work now because it's got cameras. So that's a big lesson. Is one of those things that you've got to be real sure that you do is get those cameras so the ship can see. And if you're crashing into stuff, one of the big problems is possibly, probably, that you've got uh, the cameras in bad place or you don't have enough thrusters in the right direction. And I know many people say, well, I can fly it. And I can do it. Yeah, well, you can, but the ship can't. And especially if you can't fly it and then stop immediately over the top within you know, a reasonable distance of stopping, that's one of the biggest problems that we've got. So let's uh, let this go ahead and fly on over here and prove out that, that Sam's working like it's supposed to be. And then we're going to go back to that, um, uh, go over to that station and make that work. So hold on just a moment. I'm going to fast forward through this and we'll be right back. Okay, we're coming into the base here, and now we see the Sam is flying correctly, not crashing anywhere, and uh, doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing, which is wonderful. I'm going to turn this stuff off so we can watch it do its job. And you see it slowed down in plenty of time. It has plenty of back thruster on this now, and that makes a big difference. You don't overshoot the connector. It makes I mean, a big difference for the flying. But especially if you're in any kind of a tight situation, like we are in that trade station over there, that's going to be a real challenge if you don't have your uh, ship well balanced. And, and typically, uh, back thrusters, you just got to put a lot of stop on this thing. All right, so now let's go back inside and let's look at. Do, we don't have that anymore, so I got to go fly again. So once more, I'm going to turn off Sam stop I got to turn the dampeners on and then I get number four and off we go to that base again, or off to that uh, trade station in this case now one thing about the trade station is the connector on the when you go to a trade station you have to change the connector you have to change it to say trade so that's something that can't be done automatically in Sam it doesn't doesn't have that feature yet but maybe that's a feature I could build now that's an idea I bet I could do that and put that in my patch and get the uh, be able to do the trade on there as well I'm sure I can do that that will be a fun little project for me to do in scripting of course I got several lined up <laughs> so many different things and you see so many things already done with uh, with you know the scripts that are out there there's just thousands and thousands of them and people do some really cool stuff but um that'll be that'll be fun to do with sam because sam's a great program it really does a super job of controlling the ship um, much better than i do as you see i often do kind of wiggly wobbly but i get there uh, i typically try to fly straight in that's why i like a ship that's got real good control because this is how i can see to get in there and then uh, i just kind of slow down far enough away that i can get back over there all right so let's uh, let's go dock this ship again and i can set that See when I when I reset the Sam earlier, it just lost all that. So, oh well, we just talk again, and then we're going to see this. So we actually had a nice little bonus on the bonus. I was going to do another different bonus. I might not do that uh, this time. It just depends on what our timing is like. I like to keep the videos short as I can. Yeah, I go the wrong direction all the time. 
There we go. Now I gotta... Get in here, whoops. That's pretty close. There it is. Okay, great. And again, I'm at a little bit of a, of a funky angle here. But now we're docked. And so once again, we come in here, we go to, to this one. And, oh, I forgot what the name of this place is. SPSR. Add SPSR trade station. Well, and then I put a space in it. And I'm not, again, not sure if that works or not, so I'm going to put in SPSR and a capital T R A D -T. So it'll look a little bit nicer. All caps kind of gets a little bit too much sometimes. So, um, there we go. Now that's in there. So once again, now when we go, we're in our configuration and we get over here and we change that and we put in this and we tell Sam to, that we're navigating to that. So start. And this time we're going to fly correctly and go back to our base. And then we'll, we should make the loop to come back here. Or it's, it's actually set to list right now. And I'll show you that, that in, in the programmable block, we are set to our custom data. We're set to list. If you want it to go back and forth all the time, you set that to loop. And then it will go back and forth all the time. So we'll just enjoy the flight a little bit. Okay, I just heard it kick the thrusters off, so it's coming back to base. And now we don't have it set to charge or do anything else. Uh, batteries are getting a little bit low here, but that's okay. Uh, for now, we're good, and, and in another video I'll be talking about how you charge the batteries, and Sam will wait until the batteries are charged, and wait until your hydrogen is there. We're also going to talk about how to carry hydrogen. A lot of people want to be able to have that as cargo. So we'll uh, have a video on that. And um, well, we've got, let's see what else we've got. How to set SAM to refuel itself and uh, for batteries and for H2 fuel. How to prove SAM drone hauls H2 on a battery powered ship and one that's got, that is a hydrogen powered ship. That's why we're going to We've got both kinds here. And then uh, we want to make sure that uh, hydrogen does not get robbed from st uh, tanks that are on the base that have stockpile on. This was another big question someone had asked. And uh, also then the, one of the biggest questions, the most interesting that I'm looking forward to, to, to working with, is to actually put Sam on a mothership or a, a tanker or hauler or whatever you want to call it that has various other SAM ships attached to it and then be able to have those come and land back there so they're not landing at a base they're landing on the ship and then you have SAM drive that ship back and dock at your main base and offload like you've gone out and mined a bunch of something 
And uh, there's people that are having some challenges with that. So I'm looking forward to trying it. I've never actually done that one. So I am looking forward to trying that one. So you want to be sure to subscribe and like this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this kind of stuff. And uh, maybe you got some better ideas, things you'd like me to prove out. I love to prove out stuff. Uh, that's one of my favorite things to do is prove that these scripts do what they say they're going to do and, and how you use them. And especially if somebody's having some challenges with it, I like to be able to help on that. So um, we're going to wrap this video up right now on letting this dock on the uh, on this station. We got one nice little bonus in there about how to how to fix. It was a surprise bonus, but it was a nice bonus. On my my Sam drone is crashing now. What what's the matter? What am I doing wrong? Well, it was because we didn't have enough cameras. So uh, this is going to dock here. It's going to have. Uh, it it doesn't do the trade stuff, but that's uh, that's really a good idea. I think I want to do that. And um, okay, it's all docked and locked and ready to rock and so we are going to close out this video thank you so much for watching again subscribe like comment ring the bell and get the next video thanks for watching we'll see you again next time